Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. So we have some intense energy that is coming in and this starts on August the 4th and it's going to last up until August the 28th. This is Mercury going retrograde, everyone. Very reactive energy and energy of interference, disruption, interruptions. We're already feeling this in the world. It's come in a little bit early, but the update, that software update that happened with CrowdStrike, we've been seeing it affecting our airlines and a lot of other things, our debit machines. This is a classic example of Mercury retrograde energy. So these are the kind of things that we're going to be experiencing, but also there is this abundant energy of creativity that is coming in that we can access, abundance, prosperity through creativity or self expression. This is what we want to tune into this month of August, everyone, and leave the other energy of chaos behind us, or at least tune it out a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do for you today around this energy, I'm going to pull some cards, and we're going to start here with an animal spirit card, okay? Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. I'm going to also pull a bonus card from the Lantern Oracle. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. Then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you today. So this is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back to receive these messages. I'm going to close off with an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Taurus, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this Mercury retrograde energy. So we are getting a dog. Look at this. How many of you have a dog? Maybe you have an Australian Shepherd, just like this one on this screen. This is coming in as a confirmation. If you haven't seen a dog, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the message here is your loyalty and love are your greatest gifts. You are a true guardian of the heart. So once again, your loyalty and love are your greatest gifts, Taurus. You are a true guardian of the heart. I love that for you. So your loyalty is your power, my friends. Look at that. All right, let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. All right, so we are getting the Fool card. You're opening yourself up to a new energy in your life, a new life experience. This is almost like a portal that has opened up for you and you're about to walk in. Some of you are making a decision to do something this month, something that might be feeling a little bit scary to do, but Spirit is wanting you to take that leap of faith and jump in and see where life takes you. So that's the Fool card. Now, this is a major arcana card, so this energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it's in the background. So some of you are going to feel this intensely, and others you're going to feel this subtly. So that is the Fool card, and we have the Six of Wands. Look at this. Everything is going to work out for you, Taurus. You're going to make sure it does. I feel through you balancing your energy out and moving forward with confidence. This is where you're going to see the difference. There's recognition here, eyes on you, Taurus. So a lot of things are working out in your favor here, my friends. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the six of wands and we have the nine of cups. Look at that. Good things are happening for you this month. I feel a lot of you aren't even going to feel the energy of Mercury retrograde in your life. It's not going to affect you much because you're not going to let it affect you much. You're focused on the good things in your life and this is where the power lies. 
So look at that, Taurus. You're doing something really amazing here. Nine of Cups for you. All right, now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. But also, check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right. We have some beautiful, creative powerful, expansive energy coming in. You're really opening up your world here, Taurus. I feel some of you are embarking on something new this month, some sort of a creative endeavor. Maybe you're working on some sort of a project. Um, you're really opening yourself up to success. I feel that maybe there's been a dream or a desire which you're finally moving into, working towards taking that first step. You're seeing a lot of results through this. You're feeling the excitement. I can already feel that within you. But I feel that excitement is now pushing you forward. So you're finding yourself maybe exploring the idea of something that has popped up into your mind. Um, maybe you have taken that first step and uh, put together a resume and through your resumes out everywhere and finding that you're starting to get some calls coming in. Maybe you even landed a job. Maybe you started some sort of a side hustle and getting a new beginning here, something that you're starting. This could be a newer energy that you're just feeling within yourself, Taurus. Whatever this is, know there's a lot of beauty. There's a lot of expansion that is coming in with this. I'm seeing a lot of colors. I'm seeing someone painting on a canvas here and maybe you're painting a sun perhaps you're seeing the sun we've got a lot of sun energy here in this card so spirit is letting you know that every single day of your life is a brand new day and you get to start fresh you get to start brand new and just like the sun comes up every single day for us spirit is wanting you to rise for this occasion for whatever this new adventure is in your life with uh, positivity they're wanting you to have a vision they're wanting you to have some sort of imagination to paint the picture within your mind around what it is that you're trying to create this is going to be the masterpiece for your life of your life so spirit is really encouraging you here Taurus to explore the possibilities around your dreams around your desires this month of August is going to be a very powerful time for creativity self-expression as well right this is the energy of mercury retrograde so if you focus on creativity um, you know, through that loving energy, if you focus on abundance and growth, you're not going to hear the noise of all that interference, the um, disruptions, the little bits and pieces of patches of energy that are distractive in your life, right? You're keeping this at bay here. So you're going to see that this really works for you well. So it's all about keeping distractions away from you, allowing yourself to really focus on what it is that you're wanting to accomplish this month. All right. You don't need much. Spirit is showing you, you don't need much. This person has a small little sack on a, a, a wand here, on a stick, and they're walking on their own. Perhaps you have a loyal companion, someone that is supporting you, that is with you. Maybe this is a partner. Right? But what's happening is you're being blessed with energy, you're being blessed with light here, and you've been seeing this, you've been knowing this for a very long time and getting some of you going back to your childhood here. And maybe there's something that you wanted to do. It's something that you were saying here when you grew up, you wanted to do this thing. Some of you are already doing those things. But I feel there's something that is resurfacing and it's resurfaced a few times in your life here, Taurus, but now you're really following this path. So this is that path of passion and purpose. It's opened up for you. There's a gateway here and I feel this has to do with the Lion's Gate portal. So you're going to see readings for the Lion's Gate portal next after this one. So beautiful energy that is working for you and you're, you're, you are a loyal person here, Taurus. I feel that you're very grounded. You're very loyal to your relationships, to your partners, to the things that you put your energy towards. You're a very loyal person and that loyalty shows and shines through you and you receive that loyalty back. So this is what I'm getting here with this card. A lot of beautiful things are happening here. And as you are embarking on this new journey, this brand new path that is open, this new energetic field that you get to dabble and play around in, there's recognition. There is this um, eye on you. I'm getting well-wishers, I'm getting fans, 
supporters, admirers here for you. So there's something that you're doing where you might be finding yourself in the public eye. Some of you want yourselves to be in the public eye. Maybe you're uh, launching a business where you are at the forefront, right? Maybe this is your YouTube channel, Taurus. Whatever this is, know it's going to be very successful because you are going to make it very successful. Now, I'm seeing you leading the way here. So some of you are actually doing something that is original, something that, that is authentic to you. This is your essence that you're shining in the world. You're here to teach and, and inspire others, Taurus. You're meant to actually be the one leading the pack here. And what I feel is happening is some of you are leading the pack. Maybe you're in a role somewhere in your career where you are um, a lead, right? Um, maybe you're finding yourself teaching even because you're you're meant to teach you're meant to inspire and motivate people so i'm seeing people really drawn to you admiring your work perhaps you have written some books uh, maybe you have podcasts right and maybe there's this desire to be in this place of the six of wands right so spirit wants you to really envision this don't allow any distractions this month especially that are tied to mercury retrograde so any kind of interferences with electronics any kind of glitches software programs are having any kind of miscommunication through texting emails don't let the, any of this get to you. Remember, it's not you, it's the energy that is out there. So anytime you find yourselves mixed up in a space or energy of haywire or static, um, even reactive energies, just be mindful of them and don't take part in them. Just say, oh, it's the energy in the air. Let's just leave it alone and allow these things to unfold naturally. This is what I do. I'm just like, okay, you know what? It's the energy. I'm not going to take part in it. I'm not going to take th things too seriously or personally. So Spirit is not wanting you to take things personally at this time, especially the entirety of August. Um, the other thing here is there's an expansion happening. I'm getting this white horse come in. So something, um, there's a bright white light that is being shown to me here, a very bright light. And I feel there's something that is purifying itself in your life through this card. Something that is clearing itself up from you, your energy, your aura. <clears throat> There's a cleansing that is happening here. And I feel this is setting you free. And you're working on yourself to do this cleansing as well. Some of you are really doing some internal work, some self-development, learning new things, gaining knowledge, how to utilize your own energy, how to work with other energies. This is really helping you. It's very beneficial for you, so way to go. Taurus, way to go on doing this research and actually looking into these things and getting to know yourself better because this is how you're going to learn to navigate this world that we live in. Now, the chaos we're going to experience in all sorts of ways. So those of you that are watching the news, watching earthquakes and things like that on the internet, just tune that stuff out. These kind of things happen in the world. It's a natural thing. Yes, we're feeling it a little bit more than normal. We've got an active sun right now that is creating a lot of solar flares that is affecting the earth. But, you know, these kind of weather events and things do happen. Um, I feel that let's not worry about things that we cannot control. We're going to work with the energy that we're being given at this time. So even if there's a stormy day and you're not able to go do something outside, let why not find something to do indoors? This is kind of the energy and spirit is wanting you to work with this. Work with what is around you. Um, there's a channeling that is also happening here. And this channeling, it's you expressing your emotions, your expression through something creative. Now, some of you might uh, have an Instagram account of your dog. Maybe your dog is the one that is uh, in the limelight here. Perhaps there's something to do with a pet that doesn't have to be necessarily a dog. Some of you might be working on children's books, maybe a children's YouTube channel, something to do with children here, working with children. And there's this, um, it's so interesting. Can you imagine being a dog and looking at the world? This is the eyes that they're showing me as is of a dog. Like there's, you know, you understand these energies of 
um, these subtleties of human behavior. So I'm getting psychology coming in. So we've got this beautiful abundant energy that is blessing your life right now, Taurus. And I really feel that spirit is wanting you to look through the eyes of wonder and awe. And you know how a dog, when you leave the house, you come back and they're just so happy and so ecstatic, right? It's that kind of energy to be excited for life, to be excited for everything that is happening around us. We live in this magical rock on this magical globe, this universe, this like, it's so, um, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, you know, what is even beyond that? Do we really know what's actually beyond that? So I have all these questions and I feel for some of you, I'm getting this like open space of questions, like questioning life, the universe, the planets. Maybe you're into astrology here, Taurus. Maybe there's some information that you're trying to gain to get a better understanding, um, to expand your knowledge, to expand your um way that you experience the world, right? So I'm seeing a lot of beautiful things happening for you. I'm seeing some of you seeing lights. This could be at night. I feel I'm seeing a, a energy, energy of darkness, but I'm seeing someone with either um, a flame or some sort of a light that's moving around and it's creating shapes. So I, and I'm seeing a lot of colors. Some of you are working with colors. And I'm also seeing here, now these are coming in as confirmations, everyone, is a brown and a blue eye. So this could be a dog that might have a brown and blue eye or someone uh, in your life that has a brown and blue eye. Or perhaps these are contacts. Um, some of you are wearing, maybe you have a certain color eye, but you wear contacts to change the color of your eyes. So these are all now coming through. So I'm tapping into some energies here. What's ultimately happening here, Taurus, is spirit is really wanting you to live from that um, half cup full, not half cup empty, but that half cup full. And they're wanting you to uh, rejuvenate every single cup. They're wanting you to nurture each relationship in your life, especially the ones that are important for you to spend the time, the energy, nurturing the things in your life that you truly care about, where you want to see growth because you're going to see growth there and to really nurture and care for yourself as well. Self-care is very important for you this month. The more you're able to take care of yourself, the more energy you're able to give to take care of others. Some of you are wanting to be of service. You want to give in order to receive abundance, receive love. These are blessings, right? Some of your natural nurturers and givers and you're finding that this energy is coming back. So I'm getting a full circle energy coming through today. And the energy that you're putting out there, Taurus, this is the energy that you're receiving right back. And it's so powerful because you're recognizing it, you're seeing it, you're seeing the little blessings. So practicing gratitude here every single day, using positive affirmations. Some of you are already living a life of abundance. This is where you stop to smell the roses to really take a look at how beautiful life is, how precious life is, and how lucky and blessed we are to even be experiencing this, whatever you want to call it, right? This matrix, this uh, mother earth, this realm, whatever it is. And this connection to everything, this connection to nature and it's just so big and so vast and the universe. I don't know any of you learning astrology here, but I'm getting somebody diving in to really learning about how everything is connected here. And the information might be coming through another avenue for you. Some of you might be channeling energies that are tied to your ancestors, Akashic records even, information that is coming in as intuitive downloads for you through watching things online, just through living life. Some of you are like a sponge, you take in information. And what's happening here is spirit is wanting you to apply some of that knowledge to share some of those gifts of knowledge and wisdom that you have with others, to spread the word and the love, the energy, whatever that is for you, you're meant to give, you're meant to also receive. So we've got this beautiful full circle energy that is working for you and you're going to see how your loyalty is going to pay off because spirit is going to show you its loyalty as well. So look at that. What a magical month for you. And you're keeping all those energies at, out at bay here. I'm not seeing any disturbances for a lot of you out there with this Mercury retrograde energy. You're making sure that you're not allowing these energies to affect your life. 
Way to go, my friends. So what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the Sacred Forest Oracle. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So let's see what it is that Spirit wants to share with you through this card deck. So we are getting Dragon, Power, the number 11. Look at this. We are in the year of the dragon in Chinese astrology. And you are being given power. And looking at your cards here, Taurus, you have a lot of power. And we've got a woman who is resting. We've got the moon energy. So this is her light. Her path is illuminating. Even though she may be in darkness, she can see there's clarity there. She knows that she has the power. She's able to pave her way. And wow, what a beautiful card here. We've got a pink moon. Some of you might be seeing the angel numbers 11, 11 around you. This is coming in as confirmation. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 11 days, 11 hours, 11 weeks, and the 11th of the month. Some of you might be born on the 11th. All right, so you've fallen asleep on the florist floor. The night was cold as you snuggled into some leaves, yet you felt warm and comfortable as you slept. In the early morning, you stretch and open your eyes to find a dragon has lovingly wrapped himself around you in the night. He opens his large eyes and looks at you with kindness and compassion, and you know that all is well. This card suggests it's a time to step into your power and take charge of your life, Taurus. Look to see if there is anyone in your life who is trying to run the show. Speak your truth and take back authority of your life. You're ready to stand in your strength. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's now time to reclaim it. You're holding on to limiting beliefs or if you're afraid of being shunned, judged, or ostracized, it's time to let go of those limitations. Release any fear of misusing your gifts. True strength doesn't dominate or manipulate. It's a gift from the Creator that dwells within you. You have the spiritual power that's born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. This ability can heal others and bring to light bring light into the darkness you are a radiant glorious being dragon spirit at your side is a mighty ally he empowers you with healing and restorative abilities he helps you overcome any obstacle and he protects you in all areas of your life so the dragon spirit uh, the spirit of the dragon says to you today taurus within you dwells the remarkable power to manifest your dreams gain great riches and activate ancient wisdom take back your power and express your strength with grace so look at that i love that for you today so dragon spirit here everyone all right I'm now going to pull a, I'm actually going to pull three personal messages for you. So this is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back to receive these messages. So we are getting for you here, first message, Taurus, a new career path will be highly successful. So trust the magic of newness. So perhaps this uh, fool card for some of you is a new career path. So once again, a new career path will be highly successful. Trust the magic of newness. And next we're getting your life is at a turning point right now. You're ready. Your life is at a turning point right now and you're ready. If all you're doing is waiting for the really big moments, you won't value and appreciate the small ones. So once again, if you are if all you're doing is waiting for the really big moments, you won't value and appreciate the small ones. So look at that. Very powerful messages for you today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Taurus. The void, look at that. How many of you feel like you're in the void? We've got the number zero. If you're seeing the number zero, this is your confirmation of this message today. So you're being, you're being given freedom from limitations at this time. They're wanting you to release. Mercy is at play here as well. Breakthrough, some of you are uh, going through a breakthrough. Now we've got waiting coming in. Calm eye of the storm. Some of you might be experiencing almost like a lag or a waiting or things calming down, but you know that you're in, a, in the midst of a storm. All right, so know that everything is happening for a reason. You're gonna come through this. Remember that you have power, tap into that inner power, okay? So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.